Just together to spy lights hitting something that's been known to change the weather. We'll kill the fight and cough tonight, so stick around. I am Pookie Ray Ray Johnson. And let me tell y'all something. Y'all want to hear a story. I got to tell y'all a story because this happened to me. And I don't know if it be happening to you, but it be happening to me. So I got to tell y'all this story. Do y'all want to hear a story? Well, that's good. Let me tell y'all. This happened in the lunchroom. I'm going to the lunchroom and, and, and this Big old bully, he wanted to try to take my lunch. He was trying to take my lunch. Now, this is how it happened, see? Now, I came in, in the lunchroom, see? Everybody had to sit down in the lunchroom. So, I had me some good food that day. I had some good food because I was good in school. And my mama gave me a reward for being good in school. Cause I be good in school. I got all A's and B's. I got one B and all A's. So I was good. So my mom said, what you want? I said, well, would you bring me a treat to school? She said, yeah, I bring you a treat to school. So I said, okay, stop at McDonald's and get me two Big Macs or the fries. And get me a pop out the machine. But they don't have pop, so I had to get some juice. But I want me two Big Macs. Two Big Macs. All beef burgers. And a special sauce on the sesame seed bun. Yeah, that sound real good. So I said, Ma, could you get me two back Big Macs? Because they got the Big Macs on special. The Big Macs was on special. So I wanted two of them. Because I was going to eat one at school and then I was gonna eat one later so I got to school my mama brought me the treat in school so I took it in the lunch room cause I was getting ready to eat then this bully he gonna come up and then sit down next to me he ain't never sat down next to me before but when he seen me with them Big Macs now all of a sudden he wanna sit down I got ready to eat my Big Mac and he looking in my face so I said I'll be his friend. I said, would you like to have a bite of my Big Mac? And he said, no. I want the whole Big Mac. I said, what you mean you want the whole Big Mac? I'm going to give you a bite if you want a bite. But you can't have a whole Big Mac because I ain't going to give you my whole Big Mac. He said, well, you better give me your Big Mac because if you don't, I'm going to beat you up. I said, what you mean you going to beat me up for my Big Mac? It's my Big Mac. How you going to beat me up for my Big Mac when you don't even have a Big Mac and I was going to give you a bite, then you want it all. Now you going to beat me up and it's my Big Mac. I said, wait a minute. I said, hold on, partner. I said, hold on, partner. Let me, let, let me explain something to you, partner. You know, I go to school every day. I do my homework, my chores, and I play PlayStation. Then my mama gave me a reward, which is a Big Mac. Now you think that I'm finna give you my Big Mac after all that hard work I done for school? And then you gonna come along cause you think you gonna just take somebody's Big Mac? You ain't finna take my Big Mac. I know you don't think you finna take my Big Mac, and I ain't gonna tell nobody. You got to be kidding me. I'm gonna tell. Matter of fact, I'm gonna call Miss Shaquika over here, cause Miss Shaquika, you know Miss Shaquika don't play. I'm Miss Shaquika. Miss Shaquika. You hear me? Boy, you better, I'm telling you, you better sit down somewhere, cause I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell. Cause that's what I do. I tell. Now, if you think that you're going to take my Big Mac, hold on, partner. Ain't going to happen like that. Now, you can go on across the tape while I eat my Big Mac. Because you ain't finna take my Big Mac. This big kid's name was Jason. Jason going to ball up his fist. He was balling up his fist talking about, I'm going to see you later. I'm going to see you later. We going to see about... Them with them Big Macs you had. 
I said, well, yeah, we is going to see about them Big Macs, and I will see you later. I'm going to see you later. What time? You need to see me, because you can see me now. That's what you can do. You can see me right now with Mr. Quick in here in this lunchroom, and the principal out down in the hallway. You can see me right now. That's what you can do. I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared you gonna take my food. You ain't taking my food. My Big Mac. How you gonna think you gonna take my Big Mac? You ain't taking my Big Mac. Ain't nobody taking my Big Mac. Then, then I'm sitting there. I'm steady eating on my Big Mac, right? Then I look up. He didn't went and got three more boys. And then came back over there to my table talking about, uh, we want the other Big Mac that you get. I say, did y'all get a good report card? Did y'all get a good report card? Because I got all A's and one B. So that's why I got two Big Macs here. How did y'all report card look? And did y'all mama give y'all a treat when y'all got y'all good report card? Because I ain't giving y'all my Big Mac just because it's three of y'all. Ain't enough round to go around for this Big Mac. Y'all think three people going to eat two Big Macs? No. One of these Big Macs mine, I'll give somebody a bite. But you ain't going to get the whole sandwich. Y'all think that y'all just going to come in this lunchroom and take my food? Ain't nobody going to take my food. Y'all think, why y'all think they call me Pookie Ray Ray Johnson? They call me Pookie Ray Ray Johnson because I'm going to tell somebody about what happened around this uh, school. That's why they call me Pookie Ray Ray because they know Pookie Ray Ray going to tell. And it ain't going to be no exception this time either. It's going to be some consequences and some repercussions if y'all think y'all finna take my hamburger. Now y'all going on get on out of here before I tell uh, uh, Mr. Quaker that y'all try to take my Big Macs. They going to try to take my Big Mac. Not Pookie Ray Ray Johnson's Big Mac. I'm going to tell the principal anyway about this situation. And I'm going to tell Mr. Quicker that they in the lunchroom trying to take my food. And I'm going to tell my teacher when I get there that they trying to take my food. And I'm going to tell whoever else that I need to tell that they in the here trying to bully me and take my food. I should have got me some apple pies. They probably would have tried to take them too. But they ain't going to take my food. Not my food. I need my food for some nutrition so that I can go to school and think in school. Now let, now let me tell y'all this. If this didn't happen to y'all and somebody in, in school trying to take your food, let me tell y'all what y'all got to do. Y'all got to tell somebody what's going on. Y'all got to let them know what's happening here in school so that they can take care of the problem. You can't keep running around, getting away, and then acting like you too scared. And then every time they see you, they take your food. Then you ain't got nothing to eat. You got to tell somebody what's going on. You just can't just sit back all the time and just let nobody just bully you. When somebody try to bully you, you tell somebody. You tell somebody. And if you can't tell nobody, you tell Pookie Ray Ray Johnson. That's what you do. You can tell Pookie Ray Ray Johnson. And you go to your principal and tell them that uh, Pookie Ray Ray Johnson going to tell them what happened. Because that's what I do. Pookie Ray Ray Johnson. Let me tell you that, partner. Because ain't going to be no taking nothing from me. Ain't nobody going to bully me. And they ain't going to take my lunch. And then that's how I want you to be too. Don't let nobody take your lunch. Without you telling somebody that they trying to take your lunch. Ain't nobody supposed to be taking nothing. If they take something, then they supposed to go to jail. That's where they supposed to go. So you call 1-800-SPEAK-UP. And I'll tell you this. They coming out there. And then they going to they gonna find out what the problem is. And then if this bully keep on bullying people, they going to give you $100. They ain't going to ask no question. That's what they do. It's called Street Safe Project. School Say Project. That's what it's called. School Say Project. Call them 1-800-SPEAK-UP. You got to tell somebody.